How we doing everybody? This is that R nerd back at it again with another R tutorial. The tutorial today is going to cover analysis of variance or ANOVA. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is read in some data. I'll leave a link in the description uh, below if you want to download this data and, and follow this tutorial uh, with, with the same data. Um, but we'll just call our data football. We'll say into football, we're gonna put our read.csv and then just put where it's located. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this actually. Okay. So now I've read our data in and I'll take a look at this. And what it shows is uh, 17 different players on all the different teams. And I actually renamed these, these columns here uh, to be the, the name of the actual team. Uh, when it comes in the data, it says X1, X2, X3, X4, X5. Uh, but I actually went through and, and named the, the different columns for the different teams that we're looking at. And for ANOVA, we want to test if, if there's a difference between the means of the football players' weights for these, uh, for these different teams. Um, but you see our data is kind of in a, a matrix setting like this, um, where uh, the ANOVA is going to want it in, in two columns, where it wants the teams all listed in one column, and then all the weights associated with each team in, in the other column. So we're going to have to do a little uh, switching of our data here. So we'll make a team variable, and we'll say C, so this is concatenate or, or combine. Um, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to repeat and our first team is Dallas, and we're gonna to wanna to repeat Dallas uh, 17 times. So there's, there's 17 players in each of these different groups. So that's the first one. And then we're gonna to wanna to repeat, actually, let's not type all this out again. We can copy and paste it. There's five different teams here. So then our next team is Green Bay. So then we want to repeat Green Bay 17 times. Our next team is Denver. <clears throat> so we're going to want to repeat Denver 17 times. Next team is Miami. So we want to do them 17 times. And finally, oh, San Francisco. So we're going to want to do them 17 times. <clears throat> and there's one last argument here. So. Let's get rid of that comma. Okay, uh, so now we have all of our, our teams lined out and we could call team. And so it should go Dallas 17 times, Green Bay, Denver, Miami, San Francisco. We just have one long vector with all the, all the team names in there. Next, we're gonna wanna get all the weights for the different teams. We're gonna wanna make sure that they're in the, the right order here. Um, so we'll do weight. And into weight, we will combine or uh, concatenate the football dollar Dallas. So this is going to pull the, uh, the the vector, the column of Dallas, and put that first. And then again, we're going to want to do this five times. Then we'll have Green Bay, we'll have Denver, we'll have Miami, and we'll have San Francisco. Where I renamed my columns in my, in my original, uh, that's why I put those there. If you didn't rename them and they're X1, X2, X3, um, then you'd simply put football dollar X1 football dollar x2 instead of the actual names of all the different teams. Okay, so if we do that, then we have a vector now of 85 weights. Um, so we have our, our x and our y, and now we can make a data frame out of it, and I'll just name it df, which is kind of boring, but uh, so data.frame of our team and our weights. And so if we look at this, this is what ANOVA is going to uh, 
recognize within R. So we have Dallas, 17 times with all their weights, Green Bay, 17 times with all their weights, and so forth, all the way down. Okay, now that our data is cleaned up a little bit, um, we could plot this out just to see. So um, we're saying how our Y, so how our weight depends on team. And our data is equal to DF. So our data is equal to this data frame that we made here. And it's gonna plot out our different side-by-side -side box plots here. And if we look at the actual means, it looks like they're not, they're not too far different, right? Um, so we might not reject this one. Um, in ANOVA, normality is something that's an assumption where these don't, maybe don't look all that normal. Um, so we'd probably wanna go into more, uh, more detail to fix these data, but hey, that's okay. We'll just run the ANOVA on it. So we'll make a football.aov and into that we'll put AOV, so that's the uh, that's the call into an uh, ANOVA, and we'll say how weight depends on team, and we'll say that our data is equal to DF, and that's going to put that up there, and then we can run a summary of football dot AOV, and that'll give us all our uh, our table down here, and so this gives us our degrees of freedom. Uh, for team, it's going to be the number of columns minus one, right? So we're looking at, at five different teams, or the number of categories, I guess. So we're looking at five different teams, minus one is four. And the number of residuals is going to be our total number. So we have 85 observations, uh, minus four, minus one, so 80. Um, to get the, the sum of squared, uh, well, to get the, the mean squared error, you'd take your sum of squared divided by degrees of freedom, right? So sum squared divided by degrees of freedom. Get your F value here. You take your uh, mean square divided by your other one. And then we get a P value here. Uh, so our P value is greater than 0 .05. Um, so we'd fail to reject our null and we'd say that these have equal variances. Um, and again, the means look pretty, pretty equal, right? But this data might be unbalanced or not normal or anything. Um, so we might need to do a little more work with that. Anyways, that's the, uh, the quick gist of it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop an ANOVA down onto that like button. Um, also subscribe if you wanna see any more R tutorial content. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to leave that in the comment section below and I will work on making a video for you. Thanks a bunch for your time and have a great day.